Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I uh, will work with the leads generation system that we have created for Contoso. We've created an MS Forms survey that deals with the information gathering that takes in all of this information. And now we want to put that information into a leads tool, an issue tracking tool that we have in the sales team. Uh, and we're going to do that by, first of all, creating a space to keep it in. And I'm going to add an app, of course, to do that. And that's going to be an issue tracking one. And I'm going to call that leads. That's, of course, the issues that the sales team work with. So we have the leads. And now we're going to go into my flow site, flowmicrosoft.com. And then I'm going to create a new flow by going into my flows here. And I'm going to create one from blank and insist that I create from blank. And we're going to use the forms trigger, uh, Microsoft Forms. And the only trigger there is, of course, when a new response is submitted. That's what Microsoft Forms does. And the forms we're going to use is, of course, the Contoso customer survey, which is the only one I have. I'm still logged in as the same user, right? So the next step is to get the information from that response. So that's another action. So again, we're going to use the connector for forms. Searching for that, Microsoft Forms. And then we're going to get the details from, again, the same form, of course, and the details of the response. So I'm going to have to see more there and get the response ID. So there, we, now we have the response. And then uh, get response details there. So it added an apply to each, which is good. So for each of the responses, it's going to get the list of responses and get the response details. That's beautiful. And then we're going to add an action. And of course, we're going to add items to the SharePoint list there. So SharePoint, that's what we want to use. And create item. And we're going to create it in the SharePoint site that I'm working on here. And I'll just copy the URL to that. This is the part we need. So I'm going to enter that in custom value. Because it's not here among the suggested ones yet. So I'll paste that in there, the sales team. And the list name is going to be leads. Of course, we could create columns in this list for each and every one of the, the questions. You see the questions are popping up there already to the right. But I'm just going to put it in the description field, all of it. That makes it simpler. I call this new lead and then the name of the person who filled out the form. Right, so we have that there, new lead. And then in the description, I'm going to put the email address. For that, I'm just going to type in so that we probably recognize that, but email, colon, and then I'm going to, uh, this is HTML formatting, so I need to put in the break there, like that, of course, and then we'll just put the other fields there, and just do kilometers, and then enter the that thing there, and another break, and moving on. How much would you consider? That's important, of course. Uh, let's get that one in there. Bending, colon there, and the break. And the favorite feature, just to get that in there. And it's favorite type of bike, yeah. All right, I guess that's it. Uh, just to uh, spice this up a bit, we could, if they want the newsletter, then we can add them to another list. But let's try this out first. And of course, you can use it for anything. You can build a um, online support or whatever, just get the information from the forms into a SharePoint list, and then you can work with it. So that's what I'm trying to show here. All right, let's move on and just save this now first. Now let's rename it so it's uh, something better. Survey to lead that's what we're doing forms survey to sharepoint lead item just to be very clear all right let's test this out now i'll perform the trigger action and the trigger action is of course to create a new response so now it's waiting for that so i'm gonna go into preview here and test it out my favorite is a city bike i ride 40 kilometers a week um, the brakes are important for me, and I would consider spending 500 to 700 
my name is Kalle Kula, just to put something different in there. My phone number, blah, blah, blah. And the email address, I think we forgot the phone number in the flow here, but let's test this out anyhow. Do you want the newsletter? Yes, let's put that in there. Submit that. All right, so now let's see if the flow is running. Your flow ran successfully. As you see, it's created the item and did everything. Let's go into the site contents. Let's refresh this page now. Scrolling down. And the leads has one item that was just created now. So let's go into leads and see if it got filled out as it should. New lead, Kalikula. Looks great. Let's open it up. And there we go. The description, email, uh, kilometer spending. Yes, we did forget about the phone number. So let's put that in also. But as you see, the form did work as it should. So let's just tidy it up a little bit. Uh, there were some spaces missing there also, as I noticed. So there should be a space after the email there. Let's put a space there. There is a space, stuff like that, cleaning it up. Somewhat tricky to work with this. The keyboard is usually the easiest way to do it. And the feature type, um, there we go, that's the space. And then the phone number, that's what we want also. So another break, and then the phone number, um, colon space, and then let's find the phone number there. That's the phone number. And then we're all done. All right, so let's move on to the next step then. Of course, we want to have another app for, another list actually, uh, for taking care of the newsletter recipients. So let's do that. And of course, the people that receive the newsletter will have, first of all, they will have not a title, they will have a name. So I'm going to rename that column and just call it name instead. Uh, right, that's better, of course. Uh, recipient name that works fine. And then they will have an email address. So let's create that one also. Single line of text, that's fine. All right, so now we have the newsletter list. So let's continue with my flow and add a condition. First of all, we're going to check if they want the newsletter. So if the response here, do you want the newsletter? Is equal to yes. In that case, if no, we do nothing. In that case, we add another to the SharePoint list, right? So SharePoint, there we go. Create item. Still not on here, so we're going to enter a custom value. Copy the URL from the logo and the SharePoint site. And the newsletter that showed up, excellent. And then we're going to just do it, didn't pick up that name change that I did on the title. But that's fine, but we can get that from here. Responders name is right there. And the email address is, of course, right there. So we won't lose any information and um, everything will be correctly filled out and no, no manual work there. All right, so let's uh, test this out with uh, data from the previous run. I did four minutes ago, save and test. So now it's running, picking up the same thing. New submitted, apply to each. There's only one there. So it, it got the response details and created the item and looked into the condition. And the response is true. So yes, we created the item also. Good, all right. So let's check that in the leads here. We have another leads, of course, now. So let's refresh that. We have a new lead from Calicula, that's fine. Uh, and then we go into the site contents and look at the newsletter. And indeed, there's one item there also. It's Calicula who wants the newsletter on his email address anonymous. And yes, of course, that makes perfect sense because in my flow here, I got in this create item. Let's edit the flow so that we can see that. Here are, I used the respondent's email address, which sounded really good, but that was not the question that I answered. That works, of course, respondent's email works perfectly when you actually have a logged in user, but in this case, I don't. I had a question for the email, so they are not logged in. So that's not the one I, I want to use. 
use. So let's test it again and uh, using the same from the previous save and test. It's running through that all your flow ran successfully. Let's look into the site contents and now we should have two in the newsletter and we have one for the anonymous which was the wrong one and then we have one for the calculum. All right so I made a mistake or two but I hope you learned from those also and um, thank you for watching this demonstration. We have fulfilled the automation step of our task here. Thank you for watching.